with the Voltaire Catalyst Project, we have seen huge wins in participation. When we ask, what is our developer acquisition strategy? That's a major part of it because people know that there's money to be made in building on Cardano and that you have the right incentives to go realize your dreams and add value. So just as these frameworks like the Marlowe Playground and the Plutus Playground, Glow and Yella come online, the ability to build will be matched by the ability to fund what to build through a community-driven process. Now, one of the single most important things about all of this is the native asset standard. Not just a utility token, but non-fungible assets, security tokens, and a litany of other instruments that hold value. And the point of the native asset standard in the ERC-20 converter is to establish a co-evolution of the technology and the commercialization of the technology, as opposed to just field of dreaming it and building it, and then they will come. So what we've been doing with ERC-20 Converter is using that as a way to create a conversation with those who want to migrate or build on Cardano and thinking through how are we going to create practical standards with our native assets. We already have enormous advantages with this standard over Ethereum. In particular, the fact that your assets you issue on Cardano are treated the way that ADA is treated, whereas in Ethereum you're a second-class citizen first-class citizen approach means that your assets will have the same governance access, layer two portfolio access, and uh, infrastructure that ADA itself has. Easier listing experiences, easier time with hardware wallets, uh, easier time with wallet software in general, better user experience, faster transactions, uh, lower transaction costs, and then eventually even the possibility of paying transaction fees in the native asset itself, as if you were your own cryptocurrency. You just simply cannot do this with the design of Ethereum and Ethereum 2. It's a huge advantage we have in our ecosystem, and it's one that will become more pervasive over time. 